Hello, in this quick video, let's see uh, what it would take to um, blow something up. So one thing I was doing is I was playing around with the uh, physics in uh, Maya. And to do this, um, you need something called bullet, right? So to get the bullet, you want to go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager, and you want to add the bullet bundle, which is uh, right here. So if you say loaded, um, that should uh, give you the bundle. So do that. And then once you do that, you should have this tab right here. So that is what we're going to play with really quick. So just to have a little fun, let's create something really simple. Um, I'll create a box. And let's make it just a little bit larger. And now let's go to uh, modeling, mesh, and I'm going to do a smooth with two divisions. And now I'm going to just bring this up. Okay, so this will be the thing we're going to blow up. And now uh, let's turn on our wireframe. And now we just need a floor uh, so we can see the pieces can fall onto something. Okay, so that's nice and simple. So now let's go ahead and uh, turn this, uh, or uh, I should say shatter this or break this up. So to do that, let's go to effects and go to shatter. And under uh, solid shatter, uh, I don't want a surface like a plane and I don't want cracks like a ground. I actually want to break this into solid pieces. So I'm gonna say shard count uh, 10 and seed value doesn't matter that's random and let's go ahead and delete our original shape right and i'm going to say create when i say create nothing happens because you want to make sure that you clear your history on this object so remember you go to edit delete by type history once this is clear of history you can say create and then you will see that maya creates uh, 10 shards for us and essentially the sphere was broken into pieces, right? right? So now let's go ahead and see how we can blow this up. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna actually uh, select my plane, go to bullet, and then tell Maya that my plane is a passive rigid object. And you can re read that in the very bottom left. It says create a passive rigid body. Okay, now I'm gonna click on my sphere and I'm gonna turn that into a set of rigid body objects, okay? And now, if I press play, you can see that we have this really cool explosion and maybe we can not see well because the pieces uh, fall off the object. So let's make this a little bit larger. We can turn off our grid and let's take a look. So that's really cool. Um, but if we wanted to uh, contain it a little better, uh, we could click on bullet uh, solver. And once you click on bullet solver, you will see in your uh, attribute editor, you have something called bullet solver shape. And in here, uh, you can change the gravity to maybe instead of nine, let's increase the gravity to 90. And now if I press play, you can see that it's uh, much more attractive. It's kind of keeping it in one place. So that's how fun and easy it is to blow things up. Uh, I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next video.